Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create this uh, two sign-in screens uh, in Figma. Now, this is part of a series of videos in which we're recreating uh, an entire UI kit, which I found on UI8 uh, called NFTX. And uh, by the way, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, some discounts on my courses, such as the Get Started in UI UX Design course, uh, and also the design software courses for Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, as well as the outreach and sales courses, which are going to enable you to learn how to find and how to sell to high paying clients. So feel free to check them out if you're interested in leveling up your design career. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back into Figma and the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this screen right here, which we created in the previous YouTube tutorial. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, basically delete everything uh, on this uh, one page and uh, we are going to essentially create uh, a other layer so we're going to go under the rectangle and uh, we're going to create a rectangle which spans all the way across uh, this part and uh, over here on the top we're going to add the logo now before we do that uh, i'm going to double click on the rectangle itself i'm going to round it up uh, just a little bit and we're going to make this uh, into a white re rectangle and uh, we're going to change the background to blue now we're also going to add a little bit of a linear gradient just to mix things up uh, and make the the visuals a little bit more interesting i would say so let's uh, drop it over here and uh, as you can see, we have this uh, nice linear gradient. And what uh, I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab uh, the initial logo and I'm going to bring it uh, on the far right uh, where we have uh, our screen. And I'm going to turn everything into white. I'm also going to increase the size just a little bit. And I created a duplicated by accident, but you can easily just delete that. Let's center all of this. Uh, Let's bring it a little bit more towards the bottom. Let's add uh, a tiny effect of a drop shadow. We're going to decrease uh, the intensity of this drop shadow just a little bit. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do next is we're going to lock uh, this layer so we can easily go ahead and improve. And uh, let's uh, Go ahead, let's write in sign in, or actually sign into your account. Let's center this. Let's try and make this into a heavy version of the Lato font. And the next thing I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to write enter your details to proceed further. All right, so we have this uh, element in place. Now we're going to essentially copy these uh, elements which uh, already have uh, in uh, one of the previous screens that we created. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy these elements right here as well as these ones. And uh, we're going to mix them up uh, just a little bit so that it's not uh, <clears throat> exactly the same. We're also going to add uh, below here a checkbox such as this one here. I'm gonna make an 18 by 18. Let's constrain the proportions. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. We're going to write uh, over here, remember me. It's left line, bring it here. And we're going to duplicate this, write a line and recover password. I'm gonna turn it into blue. I'm gonna make it heavy. We're going to change this into sign in. All right, 
this point I think we have uh, all the main uh, elements uh, in place. Now we're also going to just change uh, uh, these elements up a little bit. So we're going to create another variation where we essentially have uh, some uh, light backgrounds, just these ones here, something like this could work well. Let's remove uh, the strokes so that we can uh, give it a little bit of a different uh, theme. Actually, let's make them a bit bigger again so that it's easier for uh, accessibility and just to make the UX uh, really strong and easy to use. All right, so this would be pretty much it for this uh, video. Now, one more thing that we can consider is creating a duplicate uh, version of this and that we can actually go ahead and add uh, a image overlay. So I'm going to bring it all the way back using option and command. And I'm going to use the Unsplash plugin in order to create a variation of uh, this screen right here. And uh, let's just wait for the plugin to load. I'm going to write in NFT. And uh, let's select uh, um, an abstract kind of image. So, oh, there's, there's a bit, yeah, something like that. This could be pretty interesting. And uh, there's a bit of a, of a contrast between the logo and the image. So maybe you can turn it down uh, just a little bit so you can make a 70% opacity. And um, yeah, that will be pretty much, much it. I <laughs> hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the very next one.